nice cabbage soup or cabbage stew here, but I don't know when, I don't, I don't know when to add the rice. So I Googled it, I Googled it. All right, what's up guys? New character here. The name is Bill Polarski. Okay, Bill Polarski, my friends call me Bipolar. <laughs> Bill Polarski here. Cooking tip for Ryan of Silly Reviews, okay? What do we have here? Cabbage was on sale for 19 fucking cents per pound at Walmart. You can't beat that. So I've got pounds of it, okay? And I'm getting real angry here, but I'm also pretty happy about it. Got a nice cabbage soup or cabbage stew here, but I don't know when, I don't, I don't know when to add the rice. So I Googled it, I Googled it. And check this out, this is what I found out. So when you add uncooked rice to a soup or to a stew, you want to make sure you definitely have enough liquid in it because two things are gonna happen. One, of course, the rice is gonna just freaking suck up all the liquid and then it's not gonna be soupy if you want it to be soupy. And it does that two times because unless you really want to thicken up you need to save or salvage a, a soup or a stew that's that's just too thin. The starch on rice is gonna thicken it up. Now this I like to add because it's uncooked. It's kind of instant though, and it has flavor to it. But if you thought you had this and you don't, and all you have is freaking regular rice, it's gonna have starch stuff on it. See, I can't freaking. I don't have options here. I can't rinse this kind of rice off. But if you have, you know, just regular rice, brown rice, white rice, whatever, you can rinse off the starch and it won't make your soup or your stew as thick so what I'm going to do this has been simmering just really soaking up the, fla the, the flavors of the vegetables the meat the cabbage all that stuff I'm gonna turn the heat back up on it and I'm gonna dump this rice stuff in here to really give it some pop some texture some fullness some flavor then I gotta freaking add liquid to it so it doesn't turn into just mush okay and it's really oh, just so aggravating when I mess up my cabbage soup so what you want to do you're simply going to get that rice mixed in there I don't want this to get too thick I want to sip it down in these winter these winter evenings even though it's almost 75 degrees out here and will be 80 it's gonna be freaking 80 degrees in January in New Orleans so pardon the mess I've kind of got stuff everywhere my freaking sink is clogging up with cabbage because I'm so lazy so really all I'm, I'm gonna do is just take this cup gonna fill it up with some water like I said just to make sure just to make sure that my cabbage soup concoction here doesn't get too thick so let me tell you what I'm gonna do so I can wrap up this video what I'm oh, I hate loud noises what I'm going to do let that cook that's gonna take about 30 minutes to get where I want it to be and it, it will take out some of that extra moisture. It's gonna come out really good. It really is something you just have to wing. But one mistake you can really make, and I've freaking made this mistake so many times and I never learned, but it's okay. One mistake you don't wanna make, if you're making a nice stew and it's already thick, you've got your potatoes in, you, in there, uh, you've got your carrots in there, you've got your beef, you got your stew liquid. If you add rice into that and you don't add any more liquid, it's going to turn into like a mud pile and, and nobody's gonna wanna eat that. So hopefully this helps you to know when to add uncooked rice to your soup or your stew. And again, I hate repeating myself, but this is Bill Polarowski for Ryan and Silly Reviews. Hey, thanks a lot for watching. I hope I see you on the next video. If you have any cooking questions, just feel free to ask me, but don't freaking ask me anything stupid. Ryan here. Silly Reviews. Silly Reviews. Thank you.